Hi, good morning Carls. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 4th of November 2023. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name, for the record please? My full name is Carls Rossiberg. All right, Carls. Could you please confirm your candidate number? Yes. My candidate number is 4131211110. Fine. Are you taking this test as a nurse? Yes, I am. Okay. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the warm-up session. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right, Mihir. Can you tell us about your nursing experience and qualifications? I have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing from University College and four years of nursing experience. I've worked in various healthcare settings, including medical surgical, pediatrics, and critical care. My qualifications include level 2 certifications on critical care and completed patient-centric communication training. How do you stay updated with the latest health care practices and technologies? I'm committed to lifelong learning and staying current in the field. I regularly attend workshops, conferences, and webinars. I'm also a member of professional organizations, the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organization which provides access to the latest research and best practices. Can you describe a challenging patient care situation you've encountered and how you handled it? Certainly. In a previous role, I had a patient with complex medical needs, who was very anxious. I ensured open communication with the patient, explaining the treatment plan in simple terms, and addressing their concerns. I also collaborated with the interdisciplinary team, to provide holistic care which resulted in improved patient comfort and outcomes. How do you prioritize and organize your work in a fast-paced clinical setting? Prioritization is a critical skill for nurses. I use a systematic approach, typically following the ABC, airway, breathing, circulation, when dealing with immediate patient needs. I also organize tasks by importance and urgency, making sure to reevaluate as the situation evolves. Effective time management and teamwork are essential in maintaining a high standard of care. What is your understanding of patient advocacy, and how do you ensure it in your practice? Patient advocacy is a fundamental aspect of nursing. It involves ensuring that the patient's rights and interests are protected. I advocate for my patients by providing them with accurate information about their conditions and treatment options. I also support their preferences and decisions while collaborating with the healthcare team to ensure their well-being. It's essential to be their voice when they can't express their needs themselves. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role playing card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you, Mahira. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your roleplay. Don't worry if I stop you, when the time is up. Good morning. I am Nurse Carls Rossiberg. Welcome to our pediatric outpatient department. How can I assist you today? Hi Carls, I'm here for my four-month-old son. He's scheduled for cleft lip surgery next week, and I have some questions about the procedure, and what preparation he needs to do before that. Thank you for bringing your concerns to us. I'd be happy to help. First, can I have your name, for better communication please? Sure, my name is Mahira. Thank you. Mahira, I completely understand that, this can be a stressful time for you and your baby. First and foremost, let's go over the preoperative requirements, to ensure your little one's safety. Your baby should not have any food or milk products, for 6 hours before the operation, and we recommend stopping clear liquids, 2 hours before as well. It's important to remember, that your baby should continue taking any oral medications as prescribed. Okay nurse. Got it. Now, Mahira, as we prepare for the day of the surgery, your baby will undergo some final health checks. The surgery will be performed under general anesthesia, and will place an IV line, to administer intravenous fluids. This can be a daunting experience, and I want you to know that, we will take the best care of your baby throughout the process. Is there anything specific, that's been on your mind, or any concerns, you'd like to address? Yes, is there a chance, that we won't be able to stay with him, during these preparations? I can imagine that, it's difficult to leave your baby, in unfamiliar surroundings during such a crucial time. Mihira, I want to assure you that, you'll be able to stay with your baby at the hospital, to provide comfort and support. Before the procedure, you can be with your baby until the moment he is sedated. We understand how important your presence is during this time. After the surgery, you can continue to be with your baby in the recovery unit as they wake up from anesthesia. We encourage this so you can be there to comfort and reassure him. That's a relief. What should we expect after the surgery? That is a very good question, Mahira. After the procedure, your baby will be closely monitored there will be a brief recovery period in the pediatric unit. Apart from that, we'll teach you how to moisturize your baby's lips and clean the stitch lines inside the mouth. Initially, you'll feed your baby through a special bottle or syringe, and we'll provide detailed instructions. Is there anything else on your mind, or any other questions you'd like to ask? Thank you for explaining that. Well, how long will he need to stay in the hospital? I understand that. You might be curious about what happens after the surgery, so, Mihira, let me walk you through the discharge process. Typically, your baby will stay in the hospital for about two to three days to ensure he is stable and recovering as expected. Before you leave, we'll provide you with detailed instructions for at home care. This will include information on any medications your baby may need, as well as guidance on how to care for the surgical site. We want to make sure you feel confident in taking care of your baby after the surgery and we'll be here to address any questions or concerns you may have. Additionally, we'll schedule a follow-up appointment for you after about a week. This allows us to check on your baby's progress and make any necessary adjustments to the care plan. That sounds comprehensive. I just want to make sure we are fully prepared for the baby's surgery. You have answered my questions about the preoperative preparations and cleared my concerns. Good to hear. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any specific concerns or questions before the surgery or during your stay at the hospital. We're here to support you through this process. Thank you so much for your help and guidance. We feel more prepared now. You're very welcome. If you have any more questions, or concerns in the future, feel free to ask. We wish your baby a successful surgery and a smooth recovery. Thank you, nurse. You've been really helpful. Have a great day. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you, Mihira. Thank you for watching. Please 
like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.